what's happening YouTube Gerald here welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing a reaction to Mariah Carey can't let go live in 1991 on top of the pops one of the things I'm going to be doing on this channel is I'm going to have a editorial series um, of opinion I'm gonna have an opinion piece series called ranked I'm gonna give you guys my favorite songs videos movies all that kind of stuff and one of them I, I do know for sure will be Mariah Carey songs ranked my top 10 or 20 Mariah Carey songs what I will somewhat spoil for you is that the song can't let go off of Mariah Carey's emotions album is definitely within that top three I don't know right now where can't let go will fall in that top three but it's in that top three can't let go is one of those songs that made me realize that Mariah Carey is definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. She is definitely herself in my like top five. She is definitely herself in my top five. And this song opened that door to, yeah, yeah, that she, she's a contender. Gotta take her seriously. It's off of one of my favorite albums of hers, highly underrated Emotions album from 1991. It is her second album. Um, I've heard Can't Let Go a lot. I probably hear it once a week <laughs> on my own. Um, I've seen the music video a million times. It is definitely one of my favorite music videos of hers. As of now, my favorite performance of it has always been her performance on Soul Train. And it's for, honestly, the little ad-lib moments at the end of it, like... But I also know of it from, of course, the MTV Unplugged album. Other than that, I have not seen this song performed live much. I think I have seen the Arsenio performance, but if I did, that was a very long time ago. What I definitely haven't seen is this Top of the Pops performance that she re that she posted and shared when she was relaunching the singles from her career, like every single Friday last year up until like the rarities. So she showed this clip on her Instagram and I had never seen this performance in full, but the clip that she showed, I was amazed. And um, it had me excited to watch the whole video. So this is a genuine first reaction. I have never seen this performance before. Let's get to it. This is Mariah Carey, Can't Let Go, live on Top of the Pops. <laughs> I love her in this era so much I, okay so first let me just say I am very much one of those fans that the lambs might not be a huge fan of themselves where I am a hardcore early Mariah Carey fan um, most notably just because she was so fresh she was so new to this and I feel like you could see in these early performances the nerves and you know what I like about this era though is that there was a level of confidence in this that I didn't that you don't quite see in the debut era in 1990 like by this point she's clearly a, getting a bit more seasoned getting a bit more used to being on TV being in the camera being on the center stage is perfect it's perfect she, she sounds just like the album um, and it's just given that 
early 90s greatness that I love and it's just given that R&B smoothness that I love and I crave and why that's one of my favorite Mariah songs ever and let's get back to it I will say though, um, I still think that the Soul Train one is my favorite. Just off of judging, I haven't seen them all. I have not seen them all, but she didn't do what I was looking for. I told you my favorite moment in the Soul Train moment was. Yeah, but what I will say was funny about that is that her whistle in this one was better than her whistle in the Soul Train one. You know, it, but then that, that's what the deal is with Mariah. What I can't stand when people complain about the whistle is that she's been telling us since 1990 that that whistle is different on a daily basis. That whistle's going to do what it's going to do that day. You know, you can't count on it all the time. And she's been telling us that from the beginning, and she's proven that from the beginning. So it's like, you know, I'm always easy with get, with cutting her slack when it comes to the whistle doing whatever it's going to do because, you know, she's always made it clear she don't know what it's always going to do. So, that was great. Um, drop in the comments below if there's any other Mariah Can't Let Go performances or any other Mariah Carey performances that you'd love to see me react to. Like I said, I've heard every song, I've seen every video. Um, even the rarities, I've seen, I've heard a lot of the rarity, <laughs> rare songs that are not even on the rarities album. Uh, but um, I have not seen a lot of the live performances, so I'd like to do some reaction to those. You know, I'm probably going to end up doing reaction to her songs that I have seen the videos and performances for before. But um, it's more fun when it's like this, when it's a genuine. I've never seen that performance before, ever, ever, and I wouldn't. I don't think I would have seen it if she had not have posted it. I, I don't know when I would have stumbled upon it. So um, so that makes these kind of things special, and that's what we look for. We look for the special moments. You know, you guys know any other performances with special moments? Hook me up in the comments below. Uh, until then, please follow me on my social medias. You can find that in the descriptions. Um, feel free to join my Patreon, donate to this channel, support more wigs, more merchandise. I, I need more Mariah shirts. I got one Mariah shirt I wore in another video, but I need more. Got me a Leah for this one. And um, the most important thing, have a great day, and don't forget to take care of yourselves and each other. I can't